The FBI fills a van with evidence from the gunman's Phoenix apartment. Investigators scrubbing all items, hoping to piece together a timeline of this plot. Neighbors in their apartment complex saw nothing outwardly alarming from the two roommates, except one of the men, Elton Simpson, put his car up for sale. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it right now. Ariel Whitlock exchanged texts with Simpson. You don't think like maybe he's just going to go plot something and you're giving the money to help him go plot something. But he changed his mind, instead driving it to Texas. Shortly before opening fire, Simpson tweeted an oath of allegiance to Amarul Mumineen, a pseudonym for the leader of ISIS. But the first clues date back to a 2011 arrest. Talking to an FBI informant over years, court records show Simpson wanted to go to Somalia to fight. Recorded on wiretaps saying, if you get shot or you get killed, it's heaven straight away. Heaven, that's what we here for, so why not take that route? Nadir Sufi was the other gunman, a pizza shop owner and father to a young son, says his mosque president. A Pakistani source with knowledge of the family tells CNN when his parents divorced, he moved to Pakistan with his father, where he attended a prestigious private school in Islamabad. Their plan, so secret, that mosque president Usama Shami spent years with both men at services and never saw either as a threat. When that happens, it just uh, shocks you. You know, that, you know, how good did you know these people? That's, that's a question that people ask themselves. A question Elton Simpson's family is also asking. In a statement released Monday night, they write, just like everyone in our beautiful country, we are struggling to understand how this could happen.